Hi guys, this is Gabriel from Catspace. Just want to do a quick video today about Autotrace. Basically, Autotrace is a quick function in SolidWorks to try and um, help you get some sketch lines from your image files. We basically start off by creating a new sketch on any plane, and then we go to our sketch picture function. I've got a shortcut in here, but if you're not sure where it is, just go to the command search bar just by using the shortcut W, and just type in sketch picture, just try and find out where it is, or just straight from here you can drag it into the toolbar. So basically I want to get some sketch lines from this whole silhouette. Um, you'll find that auto trace works really well with those silhouette type images or the dark contrast, but you can try it with your own images and see what kind of results you get. So basically we've had some new enhancements in sketch picture functionality, and we've got this scale tool just to help me get an idea of how, how large my image is or how large I want to make it and basically I want the horse to be about a meter high so just type in one meter and you'll see that that'll actually resize it for me and I'll just make sure it's positioned right to the origin and there it is now there's no more options in my sketch picture but the way you actually use auto traces it's actually an add-in so what I want to do is just go to my add-ins and just turn it on and you'll see that it's just here so we go back into the sketch picture by double clicking on it and there's an option now for next. So if we hit next, we get some extra options now for the trace settings. Now we get some tools. Um, the reason I said that the silhouette um, type images work well is because we just select that black color and that way it'll make sure that it tries to trace around that black. Um, and then we can play around with the color tolerances and recognition tolerances and that sort of stuff. Um, so basically what I want to do is just to begin the trace. You can see it's pretty quick um, and we can play around with the color tolerances and, and, and whatnot just to get the, the best um, results. So if I just hit apply for now, just hit OK. just want to suppress that background image and you can see there's my sketch. And with this sketch I can now use it for any extrusions that I want to do. And you can see it's actually recognized it as a closed as a closed loop so I can just make my um, whole silhouette there and I can turn that into a, a gate or anything like that. Thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions just email us. Thanks, bye.